because Money in the Bank last night was pretty damn good. A lot better than I thought it was going to be. I thought it was just going to be a decent show. I was looking forward to it, but I just thought it was going to be decent. Like another filler, but it was pretty damn good. Check it out if you haven't seen it. Started off with King Bear vs. Truth. Uh, kind of lackluster, just like the majority of pre-show matches. Our truth won, god damn it. Why King Barrett is losing and he's King of the Ring and I'm gaining all this momentum? I don't know. Um, somebody explain that to me. That would help. Uh, then the actual show. Uh, Money in the Bank ladder match kicked off the show, which I kind of disagree with. But I'm not going to complain about it because it didn't ruin the show. Um, Orton versus Roman versus Ziggler versus Sheamus versus Neville versus Kofi versus Kane. Didn't live up to what we expected it to be. It was a good match, but obviously I was expecting a lot more out of it. And Sheamus picked up the win. Fuck yes. Bray Wyatt screwed over Roman Reigns. Fuck yes. Just the ending, fuck yes. Just great, like, really made Sheamus look like a scumbag piece of shit. Just the way he threw Neville off that ladder, which was awesome. Which is exactly what we needed. And, you know, I'm, I'm happy to say Sheamus won money in the bank. Um, this is going to be great. Thank God Roman didn't win. Then we had Nikki Bell versus Paige, which was awesome. Because... Rarely do we ever get great Divas matches, and this was great. Um, Paige, you know, did good as she always does. I mean, we're sick of her in the title picture, but that's okay. And Nikki Bella actually did pretty good for once. And overall, the stars aligned, and it was a great match. Um, they did the, uh, they did a, I didn't like this ending. And I'm going to explain this right now. The reason it worked with the New Day match is because the guys in the New Day aren't twins and just the way that worked was just so different and so unbelievable that it was great what they did here was they did the twin magic but Brie colored her hair, stuffed tissues in her bra like I didn't like that And on top of that, to make the matters worse, the ref caught it, restarted the match, and Nikki from behind with the uh, rack attack. It's funny because she has big tits. It's called the rack attack. But I didn't like that ending. It was a great match. Didn't make the match horrible. Didn't take away from it. I just wasn't a fan of that ending. Because the twin magic thing the Bells have been doing for years, and, you know, eventually it gets old. And it, and it especially doesn't work when Nikki has a giant pair of hooters and Brie doesn't. And has different hair than Brie and all this stuff. They're hardly even twins anymore. Because of the tits and the hair and all that shit. But that's a rant for another day. Um, Ryback vs. Big Show, Intercontinental Championship. It was decent. Um, I wasn't expecting a five-star classic out of this. Fucking uh, Miz ruined that with the uh, DQ finish. But overall, it was, uh, was alright for what it was. Hopefully we actually get a decent match out of them soon. Because I heard one of their matches was good from down the line. John Cena vs. Kevin Owens, five-star match and upset. Great after the match, how Owens kicked Cena in the gut. What that did is it didn't drag out a feud like a majority of Cena feuds. That brought a new element into the feud to me. But overall, great match and upset. Classic. New Day versus Primetime Players. Nothing really to go, to go home about. This was very short... Nothing eventful 
it wasn't horrible, but there was nothing eventful in this. It was just kind of felt like that. Primetime players won tag titles, thank God. And uh, that's pretty much the end of it. Um, then we got the awesome ladder match between Seth Rollins and Dean Ambrose, which wasn't fast paced, knockdown brawl, kick ass like it usually was. It was more storytelling along with kick ass, which I kind of like. And the ending was great when Rollins fell off the top of the ladder, clenched the belt. Thumbs up for that. And Ambrose, after the match, after the pay per view, cut a Dusty Rhodes like promo, which was cool. Overall, Raw tonight, Money in the Bank, all dedicated to Rhodes. Great. At being in the show when they did the tribute to Dusty Rhodes. Now, the main event. Definitely lived up to that match when they beat the shit out of each other and told some stories. The Cena and Owens match definitely, definitely lived up to Dusty Rhodes. Along with that Divas match was also pretty damn good. Um, so yeah, they, they put on a kick-ass show. If this show, was, they were going to make kick-ass for Dusty, they did a hell of a job with it. Dusty is smiling in heaven. And overall, check this fucking show out.